Hello and welcome to today's webinar about the latest innovation of WSCAD Electrics that we will be introducing to you today. My name is Alin Dragan and I'm leading product management at WSCAD. Today I'm very excited to present to you groundbreaking functionality. Before we dive into the details, I would like to briefly address the main theme of our new electrics version. It's lowering the floor for beginners and raising the ceiling for experts. This motto is of central importance to us. At WSCAD, we place a great focus on user friendliness and usability. This is not just about making it easier for beginners to get started, but also about enabling experts to do their work more efficiently. Our goal is to provide both groups with a tool that will increase their productivity and simplify their daily work. Today is all about this new innovation which perfectly embodies the general theme of lowering the floor and raising the ceiling. It is not only super intuitive to use, but also saves experts valuable time. Let's first consider the perspective of beginners. Beginners need intuitive functions to become productive quickly. The new function we are introducing today is so intuitive that it completely redefines the definition of user friendliness. Ever since there has been software in this world, the definition of an intuitive function has been that it is easy to find, self-explanatory and simple to use. The challenge is that beginners still have to discover and learn many user interfaces no matter how intuitively they are designed. Each window looks a bit different and has to be learned first. It is particularly difficult for a CAD software like us to make its functionality user-friendly and intuitive, as CAD software is used to solve complex problems, and complex problems require often complex solutions. At WSCAD, we also face this challenge, of course. We often design an intuitive feature only to then have to add even more buttons and even more options to meet the requirements of multiple industries, making the feature less intuitive, unfortunately. In past versions, we have tried to reduce the number of windows needed. With the search and click quick search, for example, we have combined the part database, the symbol library, the macro explorer, and so on, so that everything comes from one place. But the new user interface we are introducing today no longer needs to be learned by anyone everyone interacts with a similar interface multiple times a day and it can be used to automate numerous commands and instructions in our software. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce you to the WSCAD AI Copilot. This is a world premiere in the CAD industry, ushering in a completely new era. The AI Copilot is basically a chat interface. But behind this chat interface is a powerful artificial intelligence that interacts with the software for you. You simply write what you need and the AI Copilot executes it for you. It doesn't get more intuitive and faster than this. Let's look together at how the AI Copilot works. So for everyone who is already familiar with the software, you will immediately notice that there's a new button in here. On the bottom right, 
which is semi-transparent when you're not using it. So that means it doesn't cover any important information and it doesn't disturb you while working. If I hover over it, it becomes a solid, it glows, letting you know that uh, it's uh, prepared to be activated. And if I click on it, the AI Copilot opens up. And like I said, this is a chat interface. You should already be familiar with, I think. And even if you use these uh, AI tools that have been uh, popping around in the last two years, I think you'll be familiar with this as well. And of course, it gives you a list of possible prompts you can give it, right? To give you an idea of what it can do. But I'll write my own prompt and it will be basically building up on this one. And I'll ask, what is the wire cross section? Oh, I have a typo here, cross section for copper wires at 64 amps. And let's send the request and see what we get back. And the proper uh, cross section is recommended to be 10 millimeters square, square, right? And uh, of course you have to consider factors. It tries to be correct here, <laughs> which it should, but I got the answer. This is the answer that I was looking for. And I know that I have been uh, carrying around lists of cross sections in the past uh, when I was uh, still designing electrical schematics. This would have been very useful to me back then. But this answer could also be found on the internet, right? I could do that if I wanted. It's nice to have it in the software, right? Because you don't have to open anything up. You can just type away and ask. But like I said, it's a question that everyone could have found on the internet. What's more important to me is to ask a specific question to the software where there's no answer on the internet, right? Or maybe it's in the help, but yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at some of the questions we can ask. And let's go for um, how can I turn the grid visible and invisible and send that. So it give, gives a comprehensive uh, answer. So you can do it in two ways. You can either use the menu, go to the view menu on top and look for the option labeled grid. Aha, found it here. So the answer is correct. Or using a keyboard shortcut, you can toggle the grid by using the F7 key, which is also provided here. So this is the answer that I was looking for, right? So it can also answer specific questions to the software, software settings of or particular things you can do in the software. And this is, of course, highly beneficial for new users who are not yet familiarized with all these functions and functionality. As you will see, both short and long formulations are possible. The copilot understands what you need. Here's an example of a longer request. Which key was it again that turns the grid on and off? I learned it in the training, but seem to have forgotten it. This ability of the AI Copilot to handle different formulations is particularly advantageous for beginners who may not yet be familiar with the exact terminology or specific functions of the software. While experts usually know exactly what they are looking for and how to formulate their requests precisely, beginners only have often a vague idea of what they want to achieve. The AI Copilot is designed to understand and answer such vaguely formulated questions as well. Let's take the question about the grid as an example. It's maybe not the best example, for an expert, but let's go with it. An expert might directly ask for the key combination to turn the grid on and off. A beginner, on the other hand, might ask, 
how can I show and hide these guidelines on the screen? The AI Copilot understands both formulations and provides the desired information. This flexibility in formulation allows beginners to use the software intuitively without having to first acquire an extensive technical vocabulary. They can ask their questions in their own words and still receive precise answers and assistance. These, this not only enhances usability, but also significantly flattens the learning curve to productivity of new users. Explaining the software functionality is just one of many capabilities of the Copilot. We have carefully analyzed where artificial intelligence in its current stage of development can offer the greatest added value for you. In doing so, we have identified four main categories in which AI will be particularly useful. As I mentioned before, AI is excellent for explaining software functions. In addition, AI can provide comprehensive information on both your specific projects and general technical questions. This technology can also be used for troubleshooting and, and analysis of your projects. And the most important category, it supports you in working more efficiently and easily by executing complex commands in the software for you. I would now like to demonstrate this last category to you next. Especially the advanced users among you will certainly be pleased to be able to execute complex commands that often need to be repeated and generally routing tests with a single sentence instead of many clicks. Let's look at some examples.